Hey, what's up? It's Mika Heskinen, and life is a misaligned mess. Today, we're talking about water. So when I was little, I barely drank any water. I'd maybe have like a glass a day or just drank water whenever I was thirsty. And back when I wasn't drinking as much water, I would always be so tired in the afternoon. Fast forward to grade 10, I was introduced to one of these. So this is a 2.2 liter or 74.4 ounce water bottle. So I started to drink more water. Um, at first it was difficult because of just how much water there was to drink. It just takes time for your body to get used to it. But drinking a lot more water, I just found a massive improvement of how much more energy I had throughout the day. So when I first got this bottle, I got some weird looks and some good laughs, but it didn't bother me much because it's just water, it's just plastic and water. We all need to drink water, so why do you need to make fun of people who drink water? Now other people have these small water bottles that they fill throughout the day, but I prefer these larger bottles that have all the water you need in one go. Cause like when you're in school, usually their water tastes pretty bad, um, almost to a point where it's not even worth drinking. But the water I have at home tastes so good and I want to use that to my advantage. And then there's other people who say that water doesn't have a taste or that it tastes bad or that it all tastes the same. No, you're incorrect. It all depends on the mineral content and how it was treated and all these other factors that play in. It may just be the location that you're living in that the water doesn't taste so good or how it was filtered. And don't even get me started on bottled water. That's just plain. But if there's no other good option, then that's the way to go, unfortunately, with the side effect of plastic pollution. So these bottles you can get for really cheap at Walmart. I think it's like two or three dollars Canadian. However, I don't really recommend that bottle because I've had a few mishaps with it. First of all, this right here, not too great. If anything happens where it falls or if it's open and it falls, it just spills all over the place. Um, and it's a hassle to clean up. Also, the plastic isn't too thick, and unfortunately, I've had an incident where it broke open inside of my backpack, spilled all over the floor, all in my backpack, got a bunch of my homework wet, and that was an unfortunate experience that I had to deal with. But later on, I got one of these bad boys. Mammoth mug. 2.5 liters of hydration get yours for only $20. So this has been my go-to bottle for like the past two or three, four years. There's only been this cap that broke off, but it still stays on there pretty well. Now I haven't been able to finish it up from 2.5 down to zero. Uh, that often maybe about 20 times in all these years that I've drank from this But it's good to have this bottle with me so I can see my progress throughout the day um, Still got to drink more water, but having these big bottles around uh, It's always a hassle to carry um, But for me, it's not too bad as I usually have a drawstring backpack or my school backpack with me I just throw it in there get a good shoulder and back workout every single day you get stronger you drink more water it's healthy. It's a win-win situation. It's also a great conversation starter. Now some tips for these big bottles. Always replace your water each day. Um, I've also had a situation where I didn't replace the water one day in this mug right here. I drank the same water as the day before and my stomach started stinging. It was a painful and unfortunate experience. Always clean your bottle out. I'd usually rinse my bottle out with uh, just a tiny drop of soap, a little bit of water, swirl it around, mix it around, and make sure to rinse out all the soap after, and then refill it up. Another thing with carrying the bottle around, I do recommend having a bag for it to throw over your shoulders. Uh, make sure it's a good one, a good quality bag that won't break because it's pretty heavy and it has broken a few bags of mine before but I highly recommend getting one of these big bottles. Um, it really helps to see your progress go throughout the day if it's a translucent one, and it's given me so much more energy throughout the day. There's also other benefits that I haven't really realized, 
but I know there are good benefits of drinking more water. Now I've heard some studies that say you don't need that much water, and I've heard other studies say that you need more than that much water, um, but it really depends on the person. Another downside is having to go to the washroom a lot more often than most people would. So when you're starting off, um, you'll probably be going like every 30 minutes if you're constantly drinking water, um, but be sure to drink your water moderately. You're not chugging water each time you drink. Just take it slow and steady, and if it helps, set up a schedule, a scheduled time for when you're drinking water. Another tip is to have your water bottle within arm's reach and in your field of vision, because when you see that bottle, you'll see that you need to drink more water, and if, it's, if you can't see it, you'll easily forget about it. Now, I haven't had to drink coffee, tea, energy drinks, or any other caffeinated products. Um, this water just really helps me get all the energy that I need. And remember that these benefits don't come right away. It's a gradual process that may take a few weeks to a few months to develop and you'll start seeing results then. But also do some research into how to drink water properly. Thank you so much for watching the video and go drink more water. Peace. No, you are so incorrect. Have you never tasted water before? Have you never... <laughs>